Bay from a side lane. Oh, this is so interesting though, because the faker we saw on Nico at Rift Rivals does a number on Genji. And what am I talking about? Is that just that he was playing good? No. Don't you remember how his roaming on Nico, yeah. his ability to jump out of minion waves, Lux is going to sit back and not take any damage. But she doesn't push the wave super fast early. Meanwhile, Nico can walk on the wave. That's where the Rome jungle gank in particular can be strong. Speaking of jungle ganks. Yeah, that's a big flash in onto the Lux. Permafrost is going to be there, and that's Perma CC. Without turning back into Nico. It's cleared. Uh oh. Yep, flash. Peanut's going to follow. They are going to easily take him down, and it's just whether or not they can Lane give from the kill. SKT, this was set up in champs. Yeah, big teleport's going to come in. We're looking for the devour timing. Life goes golden as well as Ruler has to flash to get himself out of the way. They do manage to pick up one of them. And Teddy under the turret's doing so much work. Faker goes golden to keep himself alive, but they have to navigate this one. It's a double kill coming in for the Aatrox as Peanut eventually takes him down, but can they get more? Permafrost comes in effort, joins the rest of his team. Teddy's still raining damage down. Another Devourer has been used. That's how long this has gone for. A stunning dive as Peanut is still alive, trying to deny effort. Getting Roller. it out, Ruler's teleported. A double kill for Peanut, and that one. Arctic Assault there. They're trying is, to fight back yeah, again for this the Rift Herald. They really want to pick it up here, Atlas. That's why they're re-engaging. Yeah. The objective is down, but that eye is going to start flickering. Yep, Kive able to break the barrel there as well. Final spark comes down. Khan may just be eliminated before anything has even happened. Good flash. Gets Kive out of the way of Faker's Pop Blossom. But Fake is able to get the Shape Splitter. I have a feeling he might have sacrificed himself for this, but does pick up the Eye of the Herald and lands the Snare. Cannon Barrage comes in. Barrel's now being utilized. Cube not going to be able to get the explosion. Teleport going to be utilized here as well as Cube. He's got enough damage. Cube here, they're going to go in. Yep, some extra information given over to Cube, but he's unable to actually keep himself alive. There is no flash available. And Phantom firing down his mid lane. Yep, Sandwich is going to come in, but that's the aftershock utilized. The subjugation is so huge. Peanut alive for so long. It's just ludicrous, but the turret is going to be taken down. And eventually, Peanut goes as well. Yeah, absolutely. Great. Their turn is very, very strong, as now they might have found effort underneath this turret. Uh oh, Pop Blossom. Big flash in from Faker. Does get one, but it's a good one. The lock's already dead. Goes immediately into his Zonya's Hourglass, now trying to get himself out of there. And that's the real one. The positioning wasn't known in life, able to use the Greyhound very well, but not quite well enough as Peanut wants to try and kill Faker, gets the right one this time, but now should be routed. Ruler still alive on the back end, Infernal Chain's unable to make it work as Cubey's almost immortal with Ruler behind him. The flash in with the Arctic Assault as Teddy tries to throw out autos. That they have control of right now, that gives them Baron spotting. Here comes the Abyssal Voyage, and walks up. That's just life getting in there, effort. It's gonna walk up without too much response. Final Spark comes in, but Faker has he found the flank that he wants. The shields are just too big. He's not able to get any of the work done, and I think finally, Genji's composition has come online. Teddy way too low. Cube stopping Clint from adding to this fight whatsoever. Great. And Gen could be picked up as well on Genji's side. This is going from bad to worse. And smart so from Genji, but from there, the moment they repelled that turret dive, the scaling has been true. And now SKT looking for a chase. Yeah, Cube caught out of position there. At the moment with no inhibitor turret bot lane, as here we go. That infernal chain landing is just insane. Not entirely sure how that even worked, as there was Lux. one minion left alive. The Lux is gonna go down. SKT trying to brute force a win. They have no minions, and Ruler finds a huge crescendo. Faker in trouble, getting slowed, remember, has no flash. Can't get out of here unless he throws in some shenanigans. Speaking of which, see you later, Ruler! And Faker turns this whole game to on throw something head. down, but they're throwing the kitchen sink at him. Cube's dead already. Peanut's gonna get knocked up, stunned for what feels like forever, but True Shot Barrage not enough. Eventually, it is going to be Khan that finishes it, and SKT out of the jaws of defeat tear themselves a victory. What an exciting...